Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to your full-time Matt's Reaction Show with Ipswich Buses. It has finished, Ipswich Town 3, Shrewsbury 0, a fourth league win on the bounce. Some came into today thinking a draw would be good enough. It would be a tough place to go, but they have arrived. They have seen, and they have annihilated another team, Domination Con. Complete. We are going to have a shorter match day reaction show this evening because I am off to a wedding to be best man, Mr. Neil Moles. Mr. Positivity is getting married, but that doesn't stop us from doing what we do here because we are committed to the tours. And I want to hear from you. I will drop a live link in where I can. And of course, we have the live chat of which I can see many of you already doing. So uh, the Discord match day thread was an absolute delight this afternoon if you want to become a discord member that's one of our perks of being a youtube member or a ko-fi fifth stand there's a link in the chat there's more information there 4.99 a month support a platform get a discord look everyone's a winner baby ain't that the truth curtis coxie welcome back my friends i will get each of you to tell me how you're feeling what your thoughts are 60 seconds or more and then i'll go to the chat and see what they're thinking curtis kick us off what are your thoughts this afternoon after a three nil dominant win Two words, absolute belter. Absolute belter. Fill those in for us. What about today was a belter? Because it, it was supposed to be a hard place to come, this. I think I, I, I think a lot of those worries have possibly stemmed over from last season. I think it's just a typical thing for any such fans to possibly worry about a game like this now. Um, whereas I think we've just been proven wrong. And I think teams like this... Now aren't going to be as tricky for us in the future. Quite clearly, I think we are, we have the makeup of a of a good, solid, dare I say it, promotion winning side. And it's not just on paper this time. We actually we actually seem to have a team that's proving it on the pitch, which is what obviously what matters in the end. Mm-hmm. Um, and his little tweaks of the team clearly, as as I said, as I said as I said pre match, he's given no reason not to trust his little tweaks in the team, and it all paid off, didn't it? A, a, a title winning, a to promotion winning, a dominant side. Coxie, we're not used to it, but Curtis is as those were his words there. What were yours? Where are yours? Sorry. Um, I think it's too early to say whether it's, it's a title winning performance, but it certainly was a dominant performance. I, as I said before the game, I expected it to be much like Burton. I thought we were going to sort of you know have to dig in a bit, but uh, you know, at times, I mean, we were we were dom- dominant. Um, First of all, you know, Tyrese Double J's goal. What actually, uh, I mean, you probably need uh, Cruncher with his Stato hat on, really, to sort of say, last time I see a striker actually, you know, get the ball themselves and then just, it was power, it was pacey, way he went through there and he slotted it in. Absolutely fantastic goal. Absolutely. You know? yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, hopefully this is a sign of we have finally put things right. And, uh, you know, when we come up against these teams who are going to, you know, probably uh, there may be you know another test for us to come when we have these teams at Portman Road. They come to hopefully get a point, but uh, you know that today was a dominant performance. There's, there's no the special, yeah, yeah, absolutely Particularly fantastic. Off the back of Burton, Kurt, uh, Coxie, where you know, you, you know how much energy was spent and and yeah. that type of onslaught. That it's just important that not only did you get through today. You've, you've again, you've just dominated another side, and it's uh, uh, someone phoned me, uh, a town fan towards the end of the game just to clarify some wedding preparator documents and i said this team is jeffing sexy 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 football and if you're not watching it if you're not listening to it what are you doing with your lives because this is this is the moments to be a town fan it's only five games in and i'm sure others will come on and tell me that feet on the ground but today's dominant. Martin Green, oh my God, is this actually happening? Rob Smith, seven different goal scorers now. Just need our defenders to score from corners. Uh, Caden Jackson got a goal. Ben Adams, where are you? I hear you somewhere. Ben, Caden Jackson got that goal. Go on, Jackson. Uh, 
Total dominance now on to Barnsley. Dominance, said Mike D. Cruncher, Gov, get that speech ready. Do you know what? I've been practicing that speech all afternoon. My donut is starting to go. I will tell you that much. Uh, Mike D, I was expecting Gov in his wedding suit. It's all below, Mike, but up the, up the top, it's always repping the brand. You know that. In fact, I might do my speech in this brand. It makes me feel a bit more comfortable, more confident about the speech I'm about to deliver. Uh, Rob Holmes, 13 from 15. Fantastic result. Uh, Josh Russell, get in. What a win. This is what enjoying football feels like. I have forgotten that, that that you know, that thought. Jacob Ferry with a, a Leaf Davis early man of the match. Away they beers. Crack them open. Pints and points. And literally today, my friends, we have had liquid football from our tractor boys i absolutely love it obviously he's not on tomorrow's podcast so i thought i would curse you all by getting him on today matt phillips <laughs> you said if we win today we can start believing we've won not only we won today we've dominated today what are your thoughts yeah did i say on the show last night this was gonna be a tough game you did absolute walk in the park wasn't it perhaps we're overestimating the opposition and underestimating what McKenna's built. I mean, easy money. I mean, I, I thought it'd be a draw, right, boys? I thought it'd be 1-1, one, one, tough game, would be like it was their last yeah. season when Burgess got sent off and they scored a worldy right towards the end. But we've absolutely dominated. And, you know, you're talking about title-winning performances. That is a title-winning performance. The key, the key now is whether or not we can continue between now and the end of the season to keep delivering like this. But absolutely brilliant. It was just comfortable, it? much more comfortable than... Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah. and let's and, and let's Good take a goal. step back from the ninety to a broader picture. Three games in a week, seven goals, three clean sheets. Yeah, I mean, look, th this is why we've now got to probably start thinking what we're building behind the scenes, and you know what McKenna's brought those players in. Maybe more to come. We don't know. We're starting to see the fruits of all of that now, and you know, we all wanted it last season, didn't we? When Cookie was in, and then McKenna came in, probably too late. Blah blah blah. And now you're seeing all of that that groundwork. Is, is, is coming to fruition now. I think it's brilliant. And Tyrese John Jules, my God. I mean, I've given him man of the match today for the very fact he ran almost back to the halfway line, wins the ball himself, runs through the defence like Maradona, slots it home. Yeah, I, I said that, Matt. Can you actually ever recall an Ipswich striker doing that? Um, there, there may have been a Murphy or perhaps a Waggon. You need perhaps need stat, but that was, fan that, that was fantastic, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. You're right, Cox. So, yeah, someone with that hunger. It was almost yeah. like when Dos Santos came on loan and he kind of run the show, didn't he, against like your Burnleys and your Norwiches and that. It was that kind of just that little bit of premiership class we saw there. Fantastic. And look, we was all surprised when he got the nod today, right? Yeah. Thought the depot would be in there, but brilliant. I was switching between commentaries today and um, I went over to the Shrewsbury one for for the end of the game and they, they were saying it was like a, a title winning performance from us. Wow, um, I mean that, that's really early bad. in five. That's early in five days' time. League One table is only five games in, but you are now on 13, third on eleventh. I like gaps starting to open up. Gaps give you a little bit of breathing space. But Barnsley are up next. Is that the bigger test? As somebody says in the chat here, uh, Chris Boy beating all the bottom dwellers, which we didn't do last year, was great. But let's see how we go against the better teams. Well, are they a better team? It's got done three 0 at home to Wickham, Barnsley. Sorry, currently, in, currently, in six, currently in 16th, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so I think Wickham lost the last three before that, didn't they? So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, well, technically, technically we, are, we are leading the pack, are we not? So, yeah. everyone, everyone yeah. is below us, so we are we are the big cheese in this division right now. So, we've got, we've got nothing to fear. We've got every, everyone, everyone's going to be the one, one team that wants to take the points of us, end the unbeaten run. Yeah, it's, it's going to bring more pressure. But this t this team, as we're all led to believe, it is is built to live with the pressure that's on them. So I, I see no reason with it. I, I see I see no reason why we can't absolutely dominate Barnes the same way we have with this team. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's 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 not a fear that I have this season. Not from what I'm seeing. Not from what I'm not, seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, should be fearing a team that's just lost three 0 at home to <laughs> Wickham, <laughs> right? Yeah, or, or certainly you sh you shouldn't be worried if you're a team that scored seven, conceded none yeah. with two tough on the road away games. And let's be honest, they're bottom dwellers, of course. But Burton, we saw that game; they were a tough team. And Shrewsbury, no, we struggled there at times, and they can be a, a funny team. It, it, Paul Lambert, Matt said, it's better to be the hunter than the hunted. We are now going to be well, the hunted. He might have just been saying that because we was never in the top positions. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when he said we. That's when he, he said that we were because we were we were riding high, and he said it's easier to be the one that's chasing the pack 
than it is to be leading the pack and everyone's coming for you and gunning for you. Uh, is, is that is is that a case? Is that is that something you subscribe to? Is that a Lambert mythology? Well, he's just, you're just trying to put pressure on the teams above you, then, aren't you? But if the fact remains, we are head and shoulders above everyone else alone. I think it's just what is it? Um, Peterborough that are just behind us in second, point behind yes. us, and they've lost one game, haven't they? So look, as we said last night, let's enjoy it. We're top of the table. Colin phoned me this, this morning, still telling me we were going to win today. That's and he the was main right. Thing, yeah. Play to the it. goat. He's not called the goat for nothing. So we've got to enjoy it while we're there. And I, I, at the moment, I don't see anything that's going to stop us slipping down the table right now in terms of what we've seen in previous seasons, finishing 10th, 9th, 11th, the mid-table, whatever it was. I mean, this is a team that's head and shoulders above those, for me anyway, from what I'm saying. I mean, we're actually dominating games and, you know, I know Derby had a lot of possession on um, Tuesday, was it, when they went to, to Montgomery Waters Meadow? What a name for a stadium. Yeah. Oh. But they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't, they dominated the possession, but they didn't dominate the match to win it. And that's exactly what we've done today. Are you surprised, Matt, of the start? Are you surprised by how yeah. good they are? Yeah, I am. Because I looked at look, I was like anyone. I looked at the fixtures, and I did say I wouldn't make a prediction. You know, you forced me mine <laughs> on the preview show. I said I wouldn't make a prediction until we'd done ten games, which my dad, God bless him, always used to say, "Don't look at the table until ten games is gone." But at the moment, we're absolutely, um, we're absolutely flying. And I am surprised, yeah, because I thought they were tough starts, and we've handled them. Shrewsbury today. Thought it was going to be tough, one three nil. But an Albion, a little bit tough, wasn't it? But second half was comfortable. We've gone to yeah. Forest Green. Uh, only Bolton have, you know, it was a little bit of a sticky period, and you might say that was because of a, the opening game of the season. And, you know, the first half was a little bit tense. But look at Mill MK Dons last week. We were told that they would be up there challenging three nil. Exactly. And are you surprised, Curtis? Because again, today second game in a row, we've not had Wesley Messi Burns. And we've comfortably dispatched yeah. the football team. Last year, if we hadn't had Wesley Burns playing, it was almost guaranteed this this is pack up, go home, because we're not going to get a point here. No, no I, I'm not. I, I, I came into this season with genuine renewed optimism, not not on the not on the fact of hope, but more, but more so from what I could see last season under McKenna. I I, I was I was fully I was I, I was full of genuine hope rather than just looking down the well and maybe see, seeing if something sticks or something lands. It just, it, 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 this, this season has always felt a bit different. Even that first game against Bolton, again, dominated the second half, arguably should have, should have been able to nick it in that game. And bar Burton in the first half, which I think, I think most people would agree in that first half against Burton, we were absolutely dire. And it, it took us 45 minutes, but then even then we, 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 we took control of that game. So I've not seen anything really to, to give me a bit of a fright or shock me. I, I was I was fully expecting us to be up there or around or at least around there come this time five ga- five games in. Mm. Maybe maybe wouldn't have expected to be top of the league. I, I'd have I'd have possibly been hoping for between the sixth and the first. But hey, it is it, it, a bonus. And I, I think the more the more people are saying here with Posh and Wednesday, everyone's doing well. They are, but they're not quite in such early at the moment. We are, to, we, we are top of the league at the moment. We are, we are the front of the pack. So the thing is, you, you just gotta, you just gotta keep it up. And it's, it's easier to say, obviously, especially with these so-called big games on the way. But if you, if you, if you just keep up that form and keep playing the way you have, these teams aren't any. They're all in League One for a reason. There's, there's, <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's no reason to fear any team. No. It's not, it's not a cup game where you face in uh, a team from two divisions higher. They are all in League One for a reason. You are all about the same level. It's Fair just point. about who's better than each other on the day. And unfortunately, at the moment, for a lot of for the last five teams we've faced, we seem to be the better team than them. So long may it continue. And Absolutely everyone, great and, point. And everyone will be looking at Ipswich now, Curtis, and saying, <laughs> we're going to be fearing them because we've set yeah. down a marker. You know, I did say, if we won today, I really thought that would, which I didn't expect, would really set a marker for the rest of the division to take notice of what Ipswich are doing. And we've done it. And there we go. Well, Nat, well. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you. Got to bring Lee Anderson right. in now, but look after yourself. Well, Have a great evening and a happy birthday to Mr. Phillips. Thank you. Thank you. Happy you birthday. Are. Happy birthday. Uh, Lee is delighted that the team at 2 0 kept playing. That's different to previous seasons. <laughs> Lee, talk to us. Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. And happy birthday, Matt, by the way. And it's nice to see you so positive. We must be on our way if Matt Phillips is so positive. Never seen him so positive. Never seen him so great. 
that's great. But what a performance at 2-0. You know, we got the second goal at the right time. But we didn't... I said to my boy, we're sitting there watching the game and it's all of a sudden it's like, well, normally 2-0, we'd be back to the wall. There'd be crosses coming into our box. And that didn't happen. We, we still sort of kept trying to go forward and play the same way. And I think that's a difference from, from last season. Um, and then we got the you know, the third goal, um, which was which was great. And uh, not only Ben have we got to, uh, you know, say about Jackson scoring, but I think a certain fisherman has, <laughs> has, has made comments about um, Jackson not scoring. But, you know, he's Johnny on the spot. And we still had people in the box in injury time, which is, which is key, which goes back to my point about we're still trying to go forward with a dominant display. And you've got to keep playing the same way. Over the last seasons, how many times have we said... You know, we get a goal up and we sit back and we do this and we do that. You've got to keep playing. You've got to be positive in what you do. It's not going to work every week. There's going to be there's going to be stumbles along the way, but just enjoy it and just and just keep moving forward. But you know, um, a great performance and and uh, you know, a credit to all those fans that travelled again today. You know, and um, you know, it, it's great to see and you can hear them. You know, on the commentary, um, it's just great. Just Enjoy the ride, everyone. Absolutely. Enjoy the ride. And obviously, you had Lee Evans and Sam Morsi again, fifth start in midfield for them both. How did you see their, their games? Because first half, Morsi was handed a bit quiet. Second half, Nick, Nick, Hay Nick Hayes gave the man of the match to himself to Sam Morsi. How did you feel the two the two combined today, Lee? Well, I think they've done all the season, haven't they? And, um, you know, you know my thoughts. I've said on here right at the start, everyone was saying, oh, Don Ball's got to come in. I mean, maybe he would have done if he didn't get injured. But... You know, there's a lot of people who were doubting Evans and a lot of us that have supported him. And you've got to have your yin and your yang. You can't just have yang-yang or yin-yin. And, and they complement each other. And, you know, they do. Evans is there to spray the ball. That's what he's there to do. Moore's is there to get the ball and give it to, mm. and give it to him or somebody else. Mm. Um, so, again, they're, they're, they're just assured today, aren't they? I mean, Moore's, got booked quite early. I had, I had a, you know... After Burgess got sent off there last season, I had a bit of worry, but he reigned it in, didn't he? And he was very measured, very good at what he did and didn't, you know, didn't go over the mark. He knew what, what he was about after getting booked. So he seems to be really, I mean, he probably was last year, but he seems to have something about him this year, as if to say, come on, lads, I'm the leader, you know, follow my example. This is what we're doing. And, and I, you just... I just see something more in Morsey than I did last season. And maybe, yeah. maybe it's because we're winning. Who knows? But uh, you, you, you can just see it. You can just see it. And yeah, we're just, we're just miles ahead. I mean, look at it now. What have we got? We've got almost double the points. Yep. Half the games compared to last season. Yep. 100 points, 100, point, 100 points, 100 goals incoming. Well, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. I thought he would. We've, well, we've, we've, well, we've well, scored mate, eight goals already, Lee. We've scored eight goals after what we've played five games. That's yeah, but we haven't conceded, have we? We're 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 seeing what we saw the second half of last season. But the difference is that McKenna's been able to bring in where he sees the shortfalls, you know. Sorry, this we time, scored ten. My mistake, sorry. Yeah, right. same. So so you know, when McKenna came in, we were playing um, Norwood as the left sided forward. We haven't got that this year. We've got people that fit the fit the position. So we've got the shape. We've got the same shape. Well, slightly different shape because we're playing a back four. We're playing a back four. I don't get what anyone says. We're playing a back four with wingers or a, a front three, and we're seeing the same shape and such like to a point. But we're seeing players that he wants to fit that position. This guy exactly knows what he's doing. Exactly knows what he's doing, and that's the missing piece. This is the missing piece. You know, I was, I was like any fan, you're sort of a bit apprehensive about today and you think, oh, well, we've got to lose eventually or we've got to have a bad run and that. I mean, of course, it will happen at some point, but you've just got to be ahead of the game. We're, we're miles ahead of where we were this time last okay. season. And you're miles man of the match? Oh, do you know what? I, John Jules. Top top John Jules? Top. Perfect, yeah, though. yeah, and can play. And the thing is, we're all talking about we need this centre forward. He plays centre forward today, and he played a. We are a man. I, I know Manchester United are doing poorly at the moment, but you can't think that McKenna has come from Manchester United to Ipswich 
we're playing how Man U played under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Go back and watch the games. We've got those players in those positions that, no, they're not the same, and I'm not saying we're anything like Manchester United, because we're not. But you can see the shape, the style, the patterns. It's very similar, because that's what he was doing. He was coaching that there, wasn't he? He was. And uh, yeah. I think it's just, I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's great. Perfect. Lee, I've got to go, but appreciate yeah, you coming yeah. on the man. Yeah, Look yeah wish, wish, wish all the best to Neil. I certainly will. I certainly will. Look after yourself, Lee. Appreciate Cheers, you coming guys. on. Yeah. Curtis, a lot of love for TJJ. A lot of questions in the chat. And one from Lee there. I will get to a lead table. There's blue hearts galore in the, in, in the chat. I do see you. I promise, my friends, it's coming. It's going to be worth seeing. But TJJ, do we need another striker now? Has he emerged? Uh, as somebody that's the, the, the third striker that we all thought we were looking for. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you get another striker, maybe Ladapo goes from first to third choice. <laughs> who, 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 who knows? Because he, he had a bit of a, a poor tame <laughs> shot at the end, there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he had a, bit of a poor tame shot at the end, that was straight at the keeper. But I, I, listen, I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he played bad when he came on. I'm just saying that's what I saw. Um, yeah, no, I, I still, I still do think you need that option at least if you're going to have it on the bench um but john jules has certainly thrown his name into the hat as the starting striker for the foreseeable hasn't he? he's the only striker to have scored so therefore surely that shirt is now his and ladapo might have to uh, get a few splinters in his arse for a bit is that shirt now his coxie or is it going to is it always going to be a case of you know mckinnable where it's certain teams need certain players so today for example McKenna and Pert have obviously identified Shrewsbury's back four, slow on the ball, slow going to the ball, whatever it might be. TJJ's our man. Perhaps against Burton, you need to be strong, strong, physicality. Ladapo's the man. Barnsley might be might be a Jackson type game. Who knows? But is it always going to be a bit of that, a bit of the rotation, a bit of the old Claudio Ranieri? Yeah, it so certainly looks today. I mean, what he's proven today is he's not, you know, we can have talk about here, he's not afraid to change a winning side we won the other night and he's, he's changed it and look um you know what the difference so so yeah i think it is you know depending on what the dossier say whoever sort of he feels is it better for that system and he's proven that today you know tyrese john jules has come in and you now scored an absolutely fantastic well worked goal with um you know with passion with strength he's 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 done all right yeah so i like to think he would keep the thing but uh no i think mckenna's Got his plan. And McKenna's mm. going to stick to it. Who's around the match, Coxie? Davis. Davis for yourself, C uh, Curtis. Uh, I'd, I'd actually go Davis as well. Davis times two. TJJ from Lee Anderson. Um, I, I will ask the chat in a second. But why Davis, Curtis? What about Davis' performances today for you? Was was great. I, I think I think that was his best game in the town shirt that he's played. I, th I, th I think. I think the way he laid that ball off, he laid that ball off to Chaplin, wasn't it? Yeah, straight, straight, straight across. Just so, so, yeah. so crisp and so clean. I just, I just, I think that was his best game in a town shirt that he's had. I, I, I thought he absolutely annihilated him down that left hand side there. In a, in a, in a, in a last season where we were begging for someone to take control of that left hand side of mid, left hand side of midfield or that left wing, we've now got someone there who, by all means, we paid a lot of money for, mm. but. If that money if that money starts to pay off a little bit, I'm I'm all for it. So yeah, no, Davis for me, man of the match, best game in the town shirt. Perfect, absolutely love it. There are 247 people watching on YouTube alone. Please hit that like button to show that you love, you care, and you appreciate the the, the quality of the content we're putting together. Or hit the dislike button if you don't. Either way, it's, it's all interaction. It, it helps the chat, the the, plan, the platform. So you know, choose your poison. But I'm going to bring ahead and bring Josh in. We've got literally. It's two minutes, Josh. I'm don't, I apologise. First question to yourself, Josh. Man of the match, please. I agree with these two. It's got to be Davis for me. Best got to be Davis. If, if, I, if I had to remove Davis from the equation and you to give me another one and not TJJ, who would it be? Evans, Evans for me. Yeah, Evans for me. Evans, perfect. There is now a live chat, a live poll in the chat for your man of the match. Get voting. Josh, how did you see this afternoon? You've heard the two contributors. You've heard Phillips. You've heard Ando. How have you, how have you seen it? Yeah, I think we dominated without really getting our second gear. To be honest, I think we've, we've played a lot. We've played a lot better than that this season already, and we've scored three goals without getting our second gear. Is that the and, reason? Is that the really pleasing element from your perspective that it's been a dominant three goal display without even really leaving second gear? That's got to be really pleasing, surely. Oh yeah, hundred percent. We can still score three goals without getting our second gear. Just you know, teams should look at that and go, oh, they played 
really well against MK Dons, scored three goals. Look at the second year against Shrewsbury, scored three goals. Should be worried. Teams should be worried. We, and that's it. We often what we often talk about on, on, on platforms such as this about what other teams can do. So I'm just going to ask you, Josh, if we were a Barnsley platform for, just for a second, how would you go about stopping Kieran McKenna's interest town football side at the moment? Not sure there is much of a way to be honest with you. <laughs> um, I don't think parking the bus is going to work this year. I think we've got a way around it. Got a way around it, Coxie. Is, is, is there a way that you know you would identify that at the moment this football team, this squad of players, have a have a glaring weakness or, or, or a deficiency that you would attack if you were you know, looking at your team and you were a Barnsley fan for a second? Not on that performance today. I mean, from last year, it was just basically stop Burns and you stop Ipswich. But you know, he's he's now been out for his second game in a row, and Ipswich have won. Ipswich won far better today. But, uh, you know, and I'm, in, I'm trying to sort of take the, the far away from the shows of the week, but there's got to be a lot of made of Norwood's coming back with a point to prove next week. That'll be the build-up, which I think can... It fucking won't be on my platforms, Coxie. <laughs> <laughs> promise you, you that, pal. I you promise better get you the, that. Leave, leave studio button ready for the seat. I'll get the P pick and people live right and centre. Okay. The contributors okay. this week have all signed an agreement. No James Norwood right. comments. Oh, right, they, okay. haven't really, they haven't really. I'm, I'm absolutely joking. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think, I think think you're all right uh, to an extent. So I'm going to have to leave the show there. I do apologise. I know there's more to it and I, I, I deeply am sorry but I've got to go and deliver an absolutely rip-roaring barnstorming speech that's going to blow the bloody doors off as they say. Uh, Josh, appreciate you coming on. Sorry it's not for longer. Enjoy your evening. Oh, well, thank you, Angie. Good man, good man. How are you two spending your evening now? It's points and points. Three points and a point has got to be done, surely. Yeah, I think I, I, think I might do that and then I might get a uh, vegan Chinese for me. You've ruined it slightly there, but I'll let you off. Um, uh, Womble, good luck if you're giving a speech, Gov. Everyone gets nervous. Yeah, I'm deadly nervous. I'm deadly nervous, and I do this for a, you know on a regular basis. Uh, <laughs> you, you, yeah, that's, that's that's the old donut, Coxie. Uh, and you will smash it. Thank you for a great show. No, thank you you're for well, watching yeah. us. Uh, Coxie, how is your evening going to be spent, be, whoop, be spent, my man? Not a great deal. That's sort of, you know, you know, sort of coming out of COVID, the sort of feeling that, and as Matt Phillips said, you sort of you have the old fatigue that does hit you. Oh, well, uh, not I, a great deal. Hope... Yeah, quite a quiet evening, just sitting there, you know, smiling away. It's which being top of the league is, is probably the order of the day, I think. Yeah, yeah the league. League. Abs well, absolutely. the league table, absolutely. Let me quickly show you the league table as we depart this evening. It makes absolutely beautiful viewing, but do not forget if you're a Discord member if you're a youtube member or a co fi fifth standard you get a perk known as discord to server you'll get a link once you join there is an after party live voice chat on there to carry on the conversation that will also be open through usic versus aj if you wish to talk about that at the same time uh so get involved in that thank you very much 80 for five pounds you stone market legend and here is your league table to close this evening's show. Ipswich Town Football Club currently leading the way. 13 points, four wins, one draw in the last five. Ten almost, goals. almost got the five W's Two on there. That's what should be our next thing. Five it's coming, green W's. We're back tomorrow, 1.30 for Talking Town's live show, the flagship. But until then, here's the, the artist, Curtis Yates, looking forward to his vegan Chinese. He <laughs> is Coxie Bricktop. I am stalling because I've got to do a speech. But from now, with love, well, with okay. care. Smash it, Governor. Go on. Cheers, boys.